I think if you, if you kind of look at Bright Cove, the single biggest strategic pivot that we've made uh, in the last sort of 12 to 18 months has been taking um, what was uh, you know, an end-to-end -end video publishing system and breaking it up into um, a series of uh, components of point solutions that can uh, exist independently of each other or they can be used to be connected to create that whole publishing workflow. Um, and the reason that we did this was really came it was driven straight out of the broadcast segment. Um, a lot of broadcasters have a huge amount of uh, investment in terms of time and money and resources in an existing technology stack and expecting them to kind of throw that whole thing out and replace it with one uh, provider, it, it, it wasn't working for them. But um, they love our cross-platform players. They love Zencoder for cloud encoding. So why don't we just make it easy for them to plug those components into an existing stack. And that's what we've been doing over the last 12 to 18 months. Um, we're nearly finished with it. We've got some great um, examples of customers who are using us just for very specific parts of their overall video publishing workflow. Um, ultimately, we'd like them to use everything, but it's great to be able to have a conversation where someone says, I'm feeling a lot of pain about you know, consistent, high quality um, playback across Android devices. I don't want to be in the player maintenance business. Can you help? We go, yeah, we've got a native uh, Android SDK. That's, you know, take it. Um, and if you want to take some other things, that's fantastic. But if not, let's help you with that problem. We've made uh, a big bet and, and big investment um, in live. Uh, the latest module that's sort of hot off the, uh, the Brico Press is, is the live event module. And really that um, enables, um, I, the way I think of it is enables non-technical people to be their own broadcasters. So you go in, you set up your, uh, your live event, you configure it, you publish it, and kind of and away it goes. Um, there's no sort of need to book technical resources. You don't have to develop any code. It's all done in a very intuitive, very easy to use UI. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, we're seeing this avalanche of live events. I mean, which I think, you know, we always felt that the blocker to this, to, to people doing more, uh, publishing more live content um, over the top was, was really that the technology was clunky and it was difficult and, you know, they didn't really know how to do it. And so they're like, well, you know what, it's, it's file under too hard. Um, so we think that we've solved that problem with the live event module and, you know, we are seeing just tremendous um, uptake, which is, you know, which is fantastic because I do, I feel it's one area where, you know, maybe the industry has been a little bit under, um, underserved in that respect.